Okay, so hi everyone. We're going to perform George Miller's magic number test. George Miller was a cognitive psychologist and he argued that the number of objects an average human can hold in its short term memory is 7 plus or minus 2. His work was published in the Psychological Review in 1956. So basically, this tests how many numbers you can remember at once. Alright, so you're going to go first. Okay. So. Two. Two. Four, eight. Four, eight. Nine, seven, one. Nine, seven, one. Three, five, nine, two. Three, five, nine, two. Three, six, zero, four, one. Three, six, zero, four, one. Four, seven, three, eight, two, nine. Four, seven, three, eight, two, nine. One eight three nine three nine eight. One eight three nine three nine eight. Five two nine one six five zero. Five two nine one six five zero. Three two nine eight nine eight zero five three. Three two nine eight nine eight zero five three one five three zero eight nine five six seven three one five three zero nine eight seven five three no <laughs> I kind of messed up and left out one of the numbers at eight but you still got nine so your magic number is nine. All right, so now I'm gonna do the test. Um, I'm gonna look away, and you can read off the screen. Okay. Two. Two. Four, eight. Four, eight. Nine, seven, one. Nine, seven, one. Three, five, nine, two. Three, five, nine, two. Three, six, zero, four, one. Three, six, zero, four, one. Four seven three eight two nine. Four seven three eight two nine. One eight three nine three nine eight. One eight three nine three nine eight. Five two nine one six five zero eight. Five two nine one six five zero eight. Three two nine eight nine eight zero five three. Three two nine eight nine eight zero five two. Three. Mm. Oh, there you go. Close enough. Um, one three five zero eight nine five six seven three. No. <laughs> you just lost it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So your number is also nine. Okay. So, thank you. I'm gonna do the rest. <laughs> so, all right, so it is called a memory span because it is the upper limit of your memory. It's the maximum amount of numbers you can hold in your mind at once. So you can overcome this limitation by creating concepts. So concepts is a mental entity represented by a single word. That one word represents all the things that share defining characteristics. Concept formation is taking many similar things based on common defining characteristics and reducing them to one. Through this and concept formation, you can remember an increased amount of items without exceeding your crow. Thank you.